more. Okay, so basically a little bit, a little bit more politically correct. Okay, so, so ladies and gentlemen, what does vitamin, what does vitamin, what does vitamin K, what, sorry, what does, what does the warfarin coumadin do? What does the warfarin coumadin do? What does the warfarin coumadin do? How does it work? You said it, just repeat. You said it, just repeat. It stops the decarboxylate, exactly, exactly. It will block, it will block, not necessarily just the extrinsic factors, it actually, but it's mainly work on the extrinsic, correct, right? It's mainly, it's mainly work on the extrinsic pathway, but it actually blocks, it actually blocks, it actually blocks factor two, seven, nine, 10, protein C, protein S. Okay, I want to check my patient on warfarin, which test do I do? Vitamin K dependent factors, exactly. What test do I do for monitoring my patient on warfarin? PTINR, PTINR, PTINR. Which medication, which medication works on the intrinsic pathway? Which medication works on the intrinsic pathway? And how do you monitor it? Heparins, all kinds of heparins, all kinds of heparins. And you check it with, absolutely, PTT, 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 or APTT, right? Partial, partial, partial thromboblastin time. Partial thromboblastin time. Activated partial thromboblastin time. Beautiful, fantastic. Beautiful, fantastic, great. Ladies and gentlemen, what does the NOAX DOAX do? What does the NOAX DOAX do? What does the NOAX DOAX do? Exactly. Block the common pathway, exabons, a pixabon, a doxabon, a veroxabon, right? Do we have anything blocks the turombin? Do I have any medication that blocks the turombin? Dabigatran, dabigatran, gatran, thrombin antagonist, turombin antagonist, turombin antagonist, right? If I put my patient on NOAX DOAX, warfarin cousins, I call them, warfarin cousins, all I call them, right? What should I monitor for them? What should I monitor for them? Should I monitor their INR all the time? Should I monitor their INR all the time? No. Is, is there anything that I should check periodically? Is there, that's why we like it. Is there anything that I should check periodically? Renal function test. Renal function tests, renal function tests, right? Renal function tests. So if my GFR is less than 30 or less than 15, right? I have to stop them or I have to adjust the dose. Beautiful, fantastic. It's actually, it's, it's, it's more critical. It's more critical about Dabigat run because the major part of its metabolism is renal. The major part of its metabolism is renal, especially Dabigat run the major 80% renal metabolism. The rest of them are 70, 30, 50, 50, 40, 60 renal liver. Oopsie, right? Contraindications for contraindications for no X to X? Contraindications for no X to X? Contraindications for no X to X? We talked about it before. Pregnancy, pregnancy, anything else? Pregnancy, anything else? Anything else? Da, 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 da. I will show you, you can cheat. I will show you, you can cheat. I will show you, you can cheat. Severe liver disease, severe kidney failure. Severe liver disease, severe kidney failure. L M N O P O O O N L L L N. New X. Do X.
advanced liver disease, advanced renal failure, advanced liver disease, advanced renal failure, and pregnancy, and pregnancy. These are the major contraindications for NOAX, DOAX. If I have severe renal failure and I want to give my patient anticoagulants, guys, anticoagulants are heparin, warfarin, and their cousins and their brothers. When we say anticoagulant, we are talking about heparin, warfarin, their brothers and their cousins. Right? These are anticoagulants. Antiplatelets are clopidogrel, ticagrelor, aspirin, right? GP2B3A inhibitors. These are antiplatelets, right? These are antiplatelets. When we say something is thrombolytic, that's TPA. That's TPA, right? Thrombolytic, right? Enoxaparin, deltaparin, or low molecular weight heparin, right? Heparin. Alteplase is TPA. Alteplase is TPA. All days, the streptokinase, we were using it a lot, right? It was a thrombolytic as well. Which one of these guys can dissolve the clot? Thrombolytic. Which one of them prevents from more clot formation? by stopping the coagulation or coagulation factors, anticoagulants, heparin, warfarin, and their cousins. Which one of these guys stop the platelets, antiplatelets, aspirin, clopidogrel, GP2B3A inhibitors? Ah, okay. Good. It was a good review. It was a good review, right? Do we have endogenous heparin? Do we have endogenous heparin? Do we have endogenous heparin? Endogenous heparin. What is that? Endogenous heparin. What is that? It's antithrombin 3. Antithrombin 3. Do we have endogenous warfarin? Do we have endogenous warfarin, Dr. Hawa? Now we can say it. Yes, we do. Protein C and protein S. Protein C and Protein S. I have a patient. I have a patient with prolonged PTT, not bleeding, not clotting. Where is the problem? I have a patient with prolonged PTT, not bleeding, not clotting, and no bleeding either. Factor 12 deficiency, Heckman factor deficiency. I have a patient, all the tests are normal, but is still having bleeding. All the tests are normal, but still having bleeding. Factor 13 deficiency, a stabilizing factor, a stabilizing factor. What is the test for checking stabilizing factor? What is the test for checking stabilizing factor? Urea solubility test. Urea solubility test. Urea solubility test. Thank you so much. It was amazing what you did. Beautiful. Great. Fantastic.